So looking at the outside of the motorhome, one of the first accessories we bought was the silver screen. Lots of problems with condensation ran down the inside of the windscreen when we first had it because we didn't know any different. So we bought the silver screen, which completely eliminates condensation in cold weather. It also acts as insulation and it keeps the sun out in, in really hot weather. This does pull down, it does pull down to halfway and you've got like a, a privacy screen so you can see out but people can't see it. So it's made by both silver screens. So, so check those out. Second little accessory we bought was, was the, the, the protectors for the, for the mirrors. Because the mirrors on the, on the Fords, they stick out quite a long way. I think they probably do on most coach-built type motorhomes, but so they stick out a long way. And, you know, if you start dragging it through hedges and stuff, which is inevitable sometimes, and you're going to scratch your mirrors to pieces. Also, it does protect against a, a really hard, a hard hit. It's going to give your your wing mirror a, a bit of a chance of survival. Uh, not 100% guaranteed, obviously, but it's going to give it a better chance of survival. You know, you're looking at two or three hundred quid for one of those, so you don't want to be smashing those up. So these are supplied by Mirror Armour. Uh, I think they're done in Bristol, actually, close to us. So yeah, another another nice accessory. Spinning around the outside. So one of the other uh, uh, um, additions we had, we had the LPG fitted. We don't want to be carrying carrying gas bottles around because you can get carrying gas on the continent and it gets very complicated. So LPG, so you pull into a garage, you pull into a garage that's got, that supplies the LPG, fit the nozzle on there. That's the English, that's the English nozzle obviously. So there are adapters you get that screw on, that adapt to France, Germany, Spain, wherever you are. So that's a, that's a 12 kilo LPG. Which, which, which lasts us a long time, plenty of time. So that, that just saves carrying, um, you know, colour gas bottles around with you. We also had a barbecue point put in at the same time. So we've got barbecue outside, we can plug the barbecue into the gas. Coming around to the garage area. Nice sizable garage. Keep all your stuff in, loads of stuff in here, no problems. We do have the bikes in there originally. We're, we're, we're avid cyclists, so we do have the bikes in there, but we've now got the Fiamma bike rack on the back. It just keeps the bikes out of the way. Uh, there is a sliding door there, so from the accommodation, you can slide open and pick stuff out of your garage or out, coming outside and get it back into the garage. 12 volt point there, 240 volt point for your own mains, to 12 volt if you want to charge up your electric bikes, etc. so that's good. And so we have the Fiamma Carry Bike Pro M. Um, yeah, good bike rack. Good. Coming to the opposite side, extra storage at the top there for your bits and pieces. Again, it's a nice, it's a nice sizable garage. There's plenty, there's plenty of room there. And the side, usual stuff. This side, access for your fresh water, 100 litre water tank in there, fuses, uh, mains point, so mains hookup point. And that's the. Uh, the, the flu so looking down inside the the, the accommodation on the, on the chasson, uh, one thing you'll probably notice is is that we have loads of space. That so this is the big selling point for us because the bed is up in the ceiling. It's uh, it's tucked out of the way. It's a drop down bed. It's one of the features of chasson chasson motor vehicles. So there's a couple of control buttons down here. You can see there. So one button drops the table down out of the way and the second button lowers the bed I won't lower it right down because it'll you have to move the pillows to drop it right down but it's a, it's a king size bed you know, as I say I'm six foot two and it, I'd have no issue sleeping in there whatsoever the only caveat is if you go to bed at separate times um, so that can be a little bit of a problem, but we don't. We go to bed at the same times anyway. And the, the, the motorhome is capable, it is a four berth. It is four berth, so you can, there are some, you know, the table drops right down and there is, a, there is a, like a table thing you fit in the middle with some cushions. And because it's four berth, I'm not going to pull them all out now, but there's, there's, there's seats with seat belts in there. So there's a seat there and there's a seat there. So if you've got a family of four, and you've got a couple of kids, a couple of young kids, then you know you can drop the bed down to about halfway, then you get put a ladder in these fixings. 
so you can clamber up or the kids can clamber up if you don't feel like it and you can make the bed up underneath so it, it will sleep four but there's only two of us so we don't need uh, we don't need to do that so looking back from the cab area back through the accommodation towards the kitchen uh, there's a nice nice mirror there to look at yourself in the mornings control panel solar control panel up there just gives an indication of what the solar is doing full depth fridge freezer so it's a nice sizable fridge nice sizable fridge freezer we keep a towel in it when it's just so it keeps so it keeps the doors open it keeps it fresh when um, when you're not using it spin around to the cooker cooker with there's two gas rings two gas rings electric ring for when you're on when you're on hookup uh, oven gas oven obviously gas grill and grill sink cover there plenty of storage above and below walking into the bathroom as we already looked around outside this is the space you have above above the garage so you've got loads of storage space There's a hanger there for your clothes loads of storage space above the garage into the bathroom obvious stuff sink toilet with a cassette which we're going to look at later with the, with the bonus hack and a full walk-in shower full walk-in shower because as I said I mentioned before I'm six foot two and I, it's, it's easy for me to shower and there are no issues so that's the inside of our motorhome so this is a bonus hack so one of the uh, the least pleasant areas of <laughs> of our jobs we have to do uh, toilet cassette so if you're carrying around you know a lot of this stuff this is the organic version I know you can get the blue the blue LSAM version if you carry around lots of this stuff or, or the sachets you know it, it can it can obviously takes up a lot of space if you're away for a few months also also the cost it's, it's expensive stuff so this is not my idea it's something I discovered online something I see the foreign guys do the French guys do use a lot get yourself some of these 38 bio tabs for your washing machine tabs it's 38 in there so if you change it every couple of days you've got 76 days worth now literally instead of using the chemical put one of these in when you clean your cassette out in the morning pop one of those in a couple of liters of water agitate it around for 30 seconds so this breaks up and it works equally as well as the chemicals and also smells of the washing when you dispose of it so that's your bonus hack so that will save you a lot of money on your trip simple tabs so if you're new to my channel please consider hitting the subscribe button below and also the like button look forward to seeing you next time